Well, Einstein would say that you're just on a space-time path. Imagine for a second that the Earth isn't there, but somehow the distortion in space-time is. So you keep moving along your curved path. You're experiencing the same phenomenon as me floating in the plane. Gravity has disappeared. We're back to zero G. It turns out the only reason we ever feel gravity is when something stops us in our space-time paths. So if the only thing that makes you feel gravity right now is Earth stopping you, wouldn't that mean that gravity is sort of fictitious or fake? Is gravity a fictitious force? Bingo. That's the important part. That's what you got it. This is why gravity was never there to start with. It's, it's, it's fictitious in that sense. Yeah, gravity is a lie. In that case, I buy it. I'm, okay. I'm with you. Except, if gravity is a fictitious force, how do you explain what's happening in empty space between the sun and the earth? Now, we're at level three. If the goal for physicists is to use as few equations as possible to explain the most amount of stuff, they've done a really good job boiling things down. If you go back to your textbook and you talk about forces in the universe, and the picture used to be really complicated, there's this force, there's that force. But what we really know is you can boil everything down to four. The first two mostly just operate within atomic nuclei. The third is the force from charges attracting or repelling each other. And together, they make up almost every force that you experience in your daily life. And scientists now agree that all three of these actually fit together. Physicists have been able to basically write those forces in the same sort of mathematical language. It's the, it's the language of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is awesome. It is our most accurate and successful model of the universe ever. It describes our universe as chunky, with these tiny discrete or quantized particles. But it still can't describe what's happening here. Because which force is at work here? It's empty space. It's none of these three. So physicists had no choice but to describe what's happening here as a fourth force. Uh-oh. Here comes gravity. 